Continuing coverage tonight of the major layoffs facing hundreds of employees in Graham County. The Stanley Furniture Plant was unable to find a buyer and will be forced to close its doors at the end of the month. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us live from Robbinsville. Rex, how is this going to affect the local economy? It will have a tremendous impact. Stanley Furniture says it just can't make enough money out here making children's furniture. And without it, the county says there aren't enough jobs to go around. Oh, yes, it's going to affect everything. Tawana Ledwell's husband worked at Stanley more than 30 years. With the closing of the children's furniture plant, he's taken a job at a refrigeration factory in Murphy, but for less money. Oh, as far as going, like on vacations, that will be cut for a while. She says the closing of Graham County's biggest employer that had put 400 to work will be devastating. Restaurants, businesses, Ingalls, the recreation here, the ones at the school system, it's going to affect it all. Ledwell and her husband considered moving but won't. We have actually talked about that, but at the moment we just want to maintain because my grandchildren's here, my daughters are here, my, all my family's here. The majority of the 400 employees will be laid off, we're told, by July 15. Assistant County Manager Kim Crisp says the Employment Security Commission is meeting with workers to help retrain them for other jobs, and she says some are getting loan assistance to help pay mortgages. Some have already went to Bryson City, some have already went to Murphy, uh, I, I think, you know, some probably will look toward um, the casino. Crisp says there's nothing else in Graham County that could employ 400 people and knows Stanley's absence will give Graham the highest unemployment rate in the state. I mean, before we've been up to 14 percent, 15 percent. Now, I don't know what the number will be. But Over 20. Yes, it will be devastating. Still, Tawana Ledwell remains positive. And so you've got to keep working. You've got to keep striving to be the best and at least find something to make ends meet. Now, Stanley had been in talks with Ashley Furniture, but those talks fell through this week. Stanley told me this afternoon simply that it is very unfortunate that the plant must close. Reporting live from Graham County, Rex Hodge, News 13.